Hey, it's Victor with VentoBots here today, and I'm going to show you the best tip to get your website to rank. I'm here with Donna Campbell, we were just having lunch here at Panera Bread. Now, before we begin, though, go on over to VentoBot.com if you're looking to generate never-ending leads so that you can get the four exact phases that we take our private clients through to generate never-ending leads. Now, um, so you were going to tell us what the best tip was to get our website ranking right so what, yes. what is that the best tip to get your website to rank is to make sure that your website uses the words that your clients are using to find you so for instance I'm working with a customer right now he's an electrician nowhere on its website does it say he's an electrician talks about electric all day long he's ranking for being an electric company but he is not ranking as an electrician at Eesh. all yeah, it's not good. No, not right. Good. Yeah, not so we want to we want to find those exact keywords that our people are searching for us. So, for example, in my case, they probably wouldn't be looking for lead generation. They'd probably be looking for marketing or something along those lines. So, I'd probably be wanting my website to be updated, something along those lines. Or, or I have to do some more research on that. But actually, I remember Donna was mentioning just not too long ago a, a, a special Chrome plugin tool. What was the name of that? It's called Keywords Everywhere. And when you type in the keyword that you're interested in, so let's say we type in electrician, it will tell you exactly how many people are searching that wor word each month, how much it would cost if you were gonna advertise pay-per-click. Um, and so you can compare different keywords to see what are the best keywords for you. And so you wanna make sure that you stay away from keywords that are uh, industry specific. For instance, I worked with a, a company that does roll-offs. Now, if you're in a commercial space, you understand a roll-off is a dumpster. But he wanted to target the public, and the public doesn't call uh, roll-offs dumpsters. I have no idea dumpsters, what that roll -offs. was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So in searching, it turns out that dumpsters bring back 10 times the number of searches as roll-offs do. So when we put his website together, we used both the word roll-off so commercial companies could find them and the word dumpster so that way the general public could find him. That makes a lot of sense and it's important to do that research and again, by the way, before I forget, if you're looking to generate never in any, it's going over to ventobot.com forward slash book to get your copy. We'll just cover shipping and send it right over to you. What we go through in there is how to look for those actual keywords, what your audience wants and what they need so that you speak to them directly and we can find those exact keywords. Use the tools that Donna was providing here so that you can actually start attracting the right people, not just any people. So again, thank you so much. Where can they find out more about you? GuardianSolutionsLLC.com. Awesome. GuardianSolutionsLLC.com. We'll go on over there, get your website updated. She's a website extraordinaire to help you find and attract the right people. Thanks. Talk to you guys next time.